Zverev. This was a real a, a journeyman, he calls Zverev, but he's played excellent tennis throughout the 2017 Australian Open. But he was blasted off the court in the first set, just 19 minutes, the second fastest set of the tournament so far. And this was set point. How about that from Roger with a backhand volley cross court? Got a bit more competitive after that. Zverev certainly wasn't disgraced. But playing in his first Grand Slam quarterfinal, he had no answers to the Swiss master. Put up more of a fight, but look, everything he did, he tried to get to the net using the lefty advantage, but he was passed time and time again, losing the second set seven games to five. And here we are, right at the end of the match, Roger Federer advances to the semi-finals. He hasn't won the Aussie Open since 2010. That's a long, long time ago. And he extends his quarterfinal streak at the Australia Open to an amazing 13 and 0. Let's now hear from him with Jim Courier. You've known Misha for quite a, quite a while. I'd like to start off by getting your thoughts on his tournament, his first Grand Slam quarterfinal, and that performance. Well, I thought he played an incredible tournament. He had a brutal match with Isner in there as well. That's never easy. Plus, they went the distance and on a sort of outside court with those kind of conditions against John is a tough one. Then he backed it up with beating Andy and other great players and uh, I was so happy for him. He's, had, he's gone through some tough times in recent years with injuries and it's just nice seeing guys like this, you know, back on a court enjoying themselves and getting a second chance or maybe a fifth chance. So it's nice for him and I'm, I'm really happy that he came out and played such a good match and, uh, and uh, he gets to go to the rear best ranking now and he can build on that for the season and uh, they can do it as brothers, which is even cool. Yeah, his younger brother Sasha also having a, a great run. Now, you don't play a lot of players that play his style, pure serve and volley. What was your strategy tonight to combat that? Yeah, unfortunately not so much anymore. I used to like those days, you know, when they used to come in a bit more. Um, it makes some nice points. There's a lot of classic shots and volley winners. I love it, you know, I think it's super athletic. And uh, yeah, the game has changed. The uh, tournament directors chose to make it slower. Uh, tennis balls have become slower too, so it's okay. I had to adapt my game and uh, play a different kind of style. Um, I enjoyed this too. The baseline slug fest is okay too. So uh, we'll probably get some of that in the next match, but uh, uh, conditions allow you to play, you know, uh, forward. And I thought Misha did a terrific job this tournament, and I hope it's going to inspire some more players to do that in the future. Well, we missed seeing you since Wimbledon last year.